Well, hello. It's Tony the Traveler here, uh, coming to you from the curbside, the pothole on the information superhighway. You can find us at www.curbside.tv. And I want to talk to you today about retirement. No, wait. I want to talk to you about tires. Your RV tires. Most of the travel trailers produced nowadays have tires that were produced in China. And they have a horrible reputation of exploding as you're driving down the road. And of course that leads to vehicle damage, of course could lead to death or injury. It's all, it's a bad thing. But you don't have to uh, have unsafe tires. And we're here today to talk about how to keep your tires safe. Um, first of all, I want to show you a little gadget that I have here. Oops, I'll show you the front of it. It's a Ryobi tire inflator. And the reason I chose this is a number of things. It's got a digital tire gauge on the top. It runs on the batteries that I use for a lot of things, including camp lights and drills and things like that that I bring with me. You preset the pressure for the tire, and then you just attach it to the tire and push go, and it pumps it up. So let's talk about inflating your tires, right? So what you're supposed to do is measure the tires regularly, you, preferably before you take the trailer out, and measure them in the morning when they're cool. That means that the sun hasn't hit them, which gives you an accurate measurement. It's not a good idea to measure them as you've already been driving. So some people take their trailer to the gas station or filling station and you measure your tires then. No. Do it before you leave. Measure them in the morning, as I said, before the sun has a chance to hit them and get them hot, so you get a good, accurate measurement. Now, how do you know how many PSIs, how much inflation pressure to put in your tires? That's easy. They put a placard right on your travel trailer. I kid you not. Here's the one on mine, and it tells you how much tire, uh, how much air to put in the tire. They put a number on the side of the tire that tells you how much air to put in the tire, what the inflation pressure should be, and maximum speed and things like that. So the information's there. This little thing can save your life or the life of others or reduce the chances of your having significant tire damage or damage to your trailer. So before you head out on a journey, save your life, save my life, save the lives of people around you, check the air pressure in your tires, on your vehicle, and in your trailer. It's easy, and uh, there you go. So I hope I've saved somebody a lot of heartache. Thank you for watching. Again, you can find this video and other things about trailers and traveling and all of that on Curbside, as well as an online car show calendar, which is pretty cool. Uh, www.curbside.tv is the website. Hope to see you all there. Of course, you can leave me comments or email me, and I'm happy to answer. Thank you for watching. You have a great day, and happy travels. One of the things you may have noticed about my tires is that the tire inflation was down to 46.5 PSI, and I do check them regularly. The trailer's been sitting here for uh, about two or three weeks, and the tire pressure has dropped, and that's due to the sun hitting the tire and actually a little bit of driving. So even in a short period of time, you can lose enough pressure to make a difference. And why would you care if your tires are inflated properly or not? Well, you get better gas mileage. There's a far less likelihood of there being damage to your vehicle or your tire exploding. And it just makes the tires last longer. So the free air that's all around you, pressurize it, stick it in your tires. It'll save you a lot of money and save your life.